Hi everyone, this is Dr. Dan again. This is where we left off uh, Microsoft Project last time with scheduling and setting up a calendar and everything. But now let's go ahead and let's add some new tasks. So I, add, I already added a planning task. You know, the next thing we did in 245L was some time of cell culture. Okay, so I can add a cell culture task. I'm gonna go ahead and do start of cell culture. It's gonna correspond to basically classes start. So I'm gonna change that to 828. Okay, and it again gives me this planning wizard. It's gonna link them. Okay, that's fine. I wanna link them, but you know I'm getting sick of the pop up So I'm gonna say, don't tell me about this again. So I'm gonna hit okay. So it's gonna, it's gonna link that. So it's, you see in the predecessor, cell culture can't start until after row one starts, which is classes start. Okay, so that's pretty obvious. And now I need to add the end. So I'm gonna put the end. I know I have seven weeks of cell culture. Okay, and you guys know how it's kind of weird um, with Labor Day being on a Monday. So I count my weeks um, from Tuesday uh, to Monday. And so our first week here starts on the third. So this is one week, two, three, four, five. This is seventh, six, seven. So the 21st should be the end date for that. Okay, again, it fixed this one day for duration. So I'm gonna go back and change this to the 28th. And now it correctly gives us 47 days between uh, the August 28th and October 21st for cell culture phase. The next thing after cell culture is mechanical testing. Okay, and so I'm going to set that is starting a week after cell culture. Okay, so it's gonna start the 22nd. And it's gonna go for five total weeks, but Thanksgiving in there might make things confusing. So let's see how this works. One, two on the fourth, three, four, five. Okay, so Thanksgiving is actually 28. So actually we're gonna get all the MEC testing done before Thanksgiving. Uh, so I'm gonna put the end November 25th. Okay, and this time it ended up keeping uh, the start date and got the end date correct. Um, and so I'm gonna do this the manually instead of doing that thing automatically. So the predecessor for MEC testing has to be cell cultures done. So I'm gonna put a five in here. So that's gonna make sure that MEC testing has to occur after cell culture is done. And then after MEC testing, the last phase of the course I'm gonna call exam and grading. And now this is gonna get a little messy because of Thanksgiving being so late. But I know the end date here is going to be when grades are due. So I can go ahead and put this as a 20th. And then I can go ahead and put a link uh, that grades are due has to happen after exam and grading, right? So I can put grades are due. The predecessor is the exam and grading, which is line seven. So I'll put line seven in that area. Okay, now I have to think about the start date. Um, and so in order to do this, you know, I might as well use Microsoft Project to help me plan here. Right, and so a couple of the things I need in this for as far as milestones, I'm gonna need an individual exam. I'm gonna need the team exam. I'm gonna need the exam review session, right? So I'll put in exam review as a milestone. I'll put in the individual exam as a milestone and the team exam as a milestone. Okay, and all these are gonna be one days or zero days, sorry. to make sure that I know their milestones. And so if I look at the calendar, like theoretically, I could have the exam review session on the 25th and then have the individual exam on the second and the team exam on the fourth. It sounds like a bad idea to have that uh, review session on the 25th right before Thanksgiving. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just plan on having the exam review session on the second, on that Monday when you guys get back from Thanksgiving. And that means the individual exam will happen on the fourth, and then the team exam will happen on the ninth. Right, and so I can actually go out here and look at it, you know, if I wanted to see how things are stacking up. Okay, sounds good. You know, that's the last day of classes on the ninth, so we're still good there. 
Um, and so, you know, right there, I used project to help me plan when I did these things. Okay, so at this point, we've kind of scheduled some major milestones. We've scheduled some major phases and even some things going on in those phases. So I'm going to take a break uh, here. And then in the next video, I'll kind of show you how maybe we can clean some things up a little bit.